Mon Valley was built, unfortunately, on an industrial platform, but it isn't a major city. So when you drive down to Wilmerding, you could pass row houses that you would have seen in the industrial era in cities like Chicago. So everything was built around the, the mills. You have densely populated areas where the jobs used to be. So there's no more jobs there, and yet there's dense population. There's no grocery store there anymore because there's no major employer there, so small town grocery stores have closed. So when you think about it, you've got these pockets of people with nothing around them. We've been here for 30 years since the collapse of the steel industry when over 100,000 jobs in steel and Westinghouse Electric were lost in the Mont Valley and the residual social effects have left uh, people stranded in poverty and isolated in their uh, regions and in many cases unable to get to jobs and get to uh, resources. I was born in Braddock Hospital. I went to school at St. Brennan. Secondly, I, I went to St. Thomas High School in, in Braddock and I, I graduated from there and I do recall vividly as I walked from my home at the foot of the Rankin Bridge 11 blocks to the school that I remember just a booming, booming community with plenty of people and lots of businesses and lots of friendly atmosphere where people felt very comfortable walking back and forth to work, doing their shopping. And around the 70s you could see the decline in the steel mills and as people lost their jobs they started to move out of the community and finally the, the businesses began to evacuate, but for that period of time it was just a booming, booming area as I was growing up. I moved into the Woodman Hill School District area 26 years ago, 1986. When I moved here, Braddock still had some businesses on the main avenue. There was a grocery store, there was a clothing store, I can't really remember, Alexander's I think was the name of it, was the clothing store. The library wasn't open, it was closed. There were a lot of restaurants on Braddock Avenue. And a lot of the houses around here were still standing and occupied. There weren't a lot of vacant homes and there weren't a lot of vacant land. I've seen that a lot of businesses have closed. I guess just the fact that they have to tear down so many homes, that hurts just to see that these houses end up being empty and then they become abandoned and then they become trash and then they have to be torn down. So that's something that I've seen happen a lot and I almost feel like crying <laughs> because you see some of your neighbors when they leave, their houses end up being torn down. That's kind of sad and I just hope as a homeowner and as a mother that my son would at least try to keep my house up if I were to die or when I get older. So I think that that hurts the community a lot. <laughs>